what's going on fight fans we've got an insane fight lined up here for the featured fight on the prelims for ufc and fox 22 we'll be getting to the prediction in a matter of seconds for lewis enrique da silva versus paul craig frankenstein is enrique's nickname and paul craig's nickname is bear jew he's from scotland and his nickname's bear jew <laughs> that's pretty interesting now uh, Paul Craig Bearju is 8-0, and and Enrique Frankenstein is 12-0. This is going to be insane with these two light heavyweights go and collide in the center of the octagon at UFC on Fox 22. Now let's get to the prediction, and then we'll get to the preview. Uh, this is, I'm really excited for this fight. I love it when we get two guys or two women who are undefeated fighting and find out who is going to stay undefeated and who is going to suffer their first loss. Now to the prediction, uh, I've it's so tough because I've never seen Paul Craig fight, but looking at him, I'm like, man, freaking that dude looks awesome. But I'm going with Frankenstein, Enrique da Silva to win this one by KOTKO in the first round. Now, if he doesn't win it, uh, Paul Craig's going to submit him. So either Enrique Frankenstein is going to knock out Paul Craig for the first time in his career, or Paul Craig is going to submit Enrique da Silva for the first time. But I am going uh, with Frankenstein, Enrique da Silva to win this one with an epic knockout or a TKO. Most likely it's going to be a knockout. I don't think it'll be a TKO stoppage. But it is possible because, you know, all the referees jump in on shit. But I really don't think that's going to be the way it's going to happen if somebody's getting knocked out cold. Uh, for Paul Craig making his UFC debut from Scotland, Bearju, he uh, is. Um, uh, I'll take that out uh, after this, um, just so you know. Um, but anyways, so uh, it's trash night here. So anyways, um, he, yeah, Paul Craig, he's won one time by KOTKO, seven times by submission. Never gone to the judge's decision, and he's perfect eight no, so he's never lost. Uh, his last fight, he won by triangle choke. The one before that, guillotine choke, an arm bar before that, a bar bar choke before that, TKO before that. Don't know what kind of submission before that. Triangle choke and triangle choke. So he's got three triangle chokes to his career. And all but one fight ended in the second. All all fights ended in the first round, but one of them in the second round. Crazy. Um, and then his amateur career, all three fights that they show here, he won in the first round by submission. Armbar, triangle choke, guillotine choke. Uh, you know, it's so hard to pick against this guy because he's a mis mis submission machine. I like what I see on paper and everything about this guy, but Luis Enrique Frankenstein da Silva has got such power in his hands. He is a knockout machine, a knockout artist, 11 KO TKOs, two submissions. Uh, one of those submissions and TKOs is the same, by the way. Uh, back in 2014 over Rafael Silva, TKO submission due to punches. All of, um, see, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight finishes in the first round, and then four finishes in the second round. He's never gone to the third round, and, um, you know, in the UFC, his two wins that he has, a TKO in the second round, a UFC 199 against Jonathan Wilson, and then Joaquim Christensen, a UFC Fight Night 96 of, via armbar in the second round. So, I mean, if he goes to the ground, he could possibly submit the Bear Jew, Craig, but I don't think Frankenstein's going to be able to submit Paul Craig, the Bear Jew, uh, you know, it's so tough. Like, I want to go with Paul Craig, but seeing uh, Henrique da Silva fight before, I, and I'm a fan of his, I'm going for him. But I like what I see about Paul Craig, so I actually wouldn't mind being wrong on this one. But I hope I'm right because I'm picking Henrique da Silva. You know, so leave me a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions about Paul Craig. Have you seen Paul Craig fight? Uh, if you have, let me know. Uh, what you thought of him, uh, you know, let me know if you're going for him, and uh, do you think he's going to win by submission, KO, TKO, decision, or do you think I'm right with Henrique De Silva winning this one by KO, TKO in the first round, and make sure to check out that uh, recommended video over here, 
and punch that subscribe button into submission and subscribe to Joe's commentary and predictions. Thanks for watching. This fight is going to be fucking bananas. I'm seriously, this is the one you don't want to miss.